Ladies and gentlemen, the final countdown has begun for the GR Corolla. The wait is over Toyota to debut its newest GR sports car. So the wait is almost over because this is the last major teaser before the final reveal of the GR Corolla. And this image here confirms that it is having the gorgeous inlet or side intake side gills. <laughs> what, do you, what would you guys call the glossy black insert here? Side gill, right? Anyways, we have that proud GR badge on the side of the vehicle. And these look to be the same wheels that we see on the GR Yaris. We have a pretty silver paint color here. So that's a confirmation for the vehicle. So coming out of Plano, Texas, this press release, that is, of course, the headquarters of Toyota Motor North America. Get ready. Notice how they capitalized and boldened the G and the R for get ready. Anyways, get ready for the heat. World premiere of Toyota Gazoo Racing Sports car is coming Thursday night, March 31st at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Stay tuned. Uh, well, actually, just stay tuned to my channel, guys. I will be there. I will be there at the live event. Probably won't be streaming that live event because uh, Toyota will be and I'll be there kind of witnessing but definitely stay tuned for my walk arounds on it hopefully I get a chance to sit inside the vehicle but this has been a long time coming we also have more footage here of the vehicle and here's I guess a high resolution of the side and then we also have GR4 loud on the side skirt so Toyota's really really proud of their all-wheel drive system first seen in the GR Yaris and then we have a couple videos here nothing crazy Pretty much the same views of what we already had. I think there's one. Yeah, we have the brake caliper there and the GR4. So that's it. That's all we have. But I want to go over the spreadsheet real quick. But hold the phone. Before we head in the spreadsheet, we'll get there. Don't worry, guys. We'll get there. Let's talk about what we saw here on the renders coming out of Japan. Well, they got the wheels right. They got the side gills confirmed. Will we see this aggressive hood scoop in the front? Will we see a front bumper that's fairly similar to what we see on uh, the GR Yaris? It's, it's hard to say. The GR Yaris is back here. And hopefully, I mean, I would be fine if, if they kept, if they just brought that bumper over to the GR Corolla. And they did have the badge correct on the side of the vehicle, but the GR badge is not in inserted into the side gills is actually behind the side gills there uh, they actually didn't have the gr4 printed on the bottom i mean that could have been a last minute design cue from toyota but uh, i think this is pretty pretty darn close will we see the carbon fiber roof not getting my hopes up but that would be incredible if we did i just think it, it would uh it just would increase the prices probably too much maybe they have some special editions that have the carbon fiber roof i think that's a possibility we have dual exhaust which is probably confirmed at this point and the rear bumper just looks really really aggressive we know that the rear lights are going to be the same because we got the official teaser a couple of days ago um, from their advertisement on youtube but I think it'll be fun to see how close the actual design is to what we see here. From the from the looks of it so far, it's actually gonna be pretty close to what we see, and I'm I'm perfectly okay with that. So back to the spreadsheet, GR Corolla is rumored to have around 300 horsepower, which is definitely an uptune from what we see in the GR Yaris, about 30 more horse. If that happens, that's gonna be incredible. It's definitely going to put it right up there with Civic Type R uh, category. Now it has all-wheel drive, so that is possibly an advantage that increases the weight in theory um, but definitely gives you a little bit more grip and a little bit more uh, launching capabilities so i think it's really going to be up there with the civic type r and just slightly above the elantra and that i drove this past week if you missed my driving impression of the elantra and that vehicle it's just a happiness machine and it's priced so well i you know i do have 32 to 37k but I'm gonna say 37K plus because I just wanna keep my expectations as grounded as possible. If it has Civic Type R capability and performance, then it's gonna be priced at the same um, price point. Now, the GR Yaris is gonna be, in theory, a little bit more expensive because of all the carbon fiber bits and all the additional aluminum pieces to it. But I think they might take a, a little bit more conservative approach with those uh, with lower cost materials on the car, which is going to increase the weight as a result. So that's why I'm predicting that even though this has about 30 more horse than the GRRs, it's going to weigh more. So the acceleration should be 
slower, at least in a straight line and up to 60 miles an hour. This vehicle might pull away after 60 miles an hour. Now there's a couple other all wheel drive vehicles on this list, like the Mazda 3 Turbo. That's that's not really a performance car. Um, the engine and the, the transmission feel good in that car, but it's it cannot keep up with the rest of the cars on this list when it comes to handling. Um, the, the Golf R is going to be, in theory, more expensive than this, but that's sticker price, guys. We're, we're talking about a market that is not shy of jacking prices up ten thousand dollars especially on on specialty products like rav4 prime for example or this gr curl i wouldn't be surprised if we see massive uh, price hikes from the dealer end unfortunately but the wrx is also out there and i just updated the pricing because i made this spreadsheet a long time ago so wrx is around a thirty thousand dollar car and these vehicles that we're talking about with the gr are going to be more expensive. But if you need to have the all wheel drive, that, that WRX will be able to give that to you. <laughs> now for to trust the dealer leak that we got a while back, it's going to probably come out October. So we're not that far away. And guys, if, if you're really wanting to buy this vehicle, probably should be talking to your dealer. Your dealers know about this car. There's no doubt about it. Now for the New York region alone, the GR Corolla is going to have 90 units. I believe that there are 12 regions in America. So we're seeing roughly a thousand dollar allocation just for the first year. So if you think about it, for three months, that's not bad for allocation for a thousand vehicles. So uh, the next year we could be seeing 4,000 vehicles for allocation, which is still a tiny, tiny amount, but this is such a niche car. It's pretty much hand built by the Takumi Masters at Motomachi, the same people who put together the LFA from Lexus, the same people who build the LC500, who are building the GR Yaris, etc. Now, there are some concerns in my head. Uh, Motomachi has been shut down a couple times, not only this month, but last month and probably going forward as well. Uh, they can't even build the GR Yaris certain days because of the, the supply chain is just so fractured at this point. And that could definitely affect this vehicle and will also probably affect the BZ4X that will be built at a Motomachi as well as the Subaru Solterra. So interesting times that we're living in. If you can snap one of these vehicles up, it's pretty much the swan song of the internal combustion era. I think we're in the last five years or so. Maybe we get, maybe it gets pushed out with the way things are going with battery prices. I don't know. Anyways, just enjoy what we have on the market right now. These incredible vehicles that are just so satisfying, rewarding, and engaging and fun to drive and are fast. Anyways, I'm gonna end it there. Are you excited? GR Corolla. We're almost there, guys. I'll bring it to you um, with my bare hands, essentially. Can't wait. It's been a long time coming, so. Anyways, catch you in the next one. Thank you so much. Peace out.